What's up you lot, this is Graffiti Tutorials and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a request that I got how to do um, nice shadows and highlights on bubble letters so I'm going to show you a couple of ways of doing it and um, one way is obviously the better way and then the next way is the cheaper way so I'll show you um, the best way first and then I'll show you a simpler version of doing it after Right, so what you're going to need is the colour you're doing it in, you need three shades of that colour and the white and the black is optional as well, I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute um, so what you want to do first is get the mid shade of the colour that you're doing and put a base layer down and colour in all your letters with that mid shade right, So the guy who requested this, he writes Flez, so I'm just going to write that word just because he was the one that requested it and I can't think of what else to write so. Right now for the shadows and highlights, the cheaper version would obviously to be just to use black and white and use the same technique as I'm about to show you but um, the better looking and more expensive version is to use three shades of the same colour and then black and white as well okay so basically we're going to pick a side what we want the highlight to be on and we want to keep them all on that side of the letters okay and then we're going to do the shadow on the opposite side so I'm going to do the highlight hitting it sort of this side okay so get the lighter colour and just going to go round, angle the can like that. So you can see that's starting to take shape now. Um, now we're just going to get the white. You could leave it like that if you wanted to. I think that looks pretty good personally. But now we're going to grab the white and just go over these highlights again. Now to be honest, you're probably better off using transparent white for this. But I can't bother to go upstairs and get it, so I'm just going to use normal white. Now you can either do highlights like I normally do them, so that's just a straight line around, okay? You can do that on this, that would look good as well, but I'm just going to angle it inwards slightly. You sort of just want to dust it on. Just like that, it gives it that sort of rounded bubble effect, you know. And then you can do the same with the black. Again, you're much better off using transparent black. In fact, I'm just going to go and get some now because it's going to go on too dark otherwise. So I'm back with some transparent black and we're going to do exactly the same. We're just going to dust on round these darker edges. Just like that. Right, so I'm kind of kicking myself now for not using the transparent white because it's gone on a bit too thick. But what you can do if you've only got white on you, you can just grab your red or whichever shade you use, that mid shade, and just go back up to it. Just dust it on. This is near enough empty now, but just dust it on and just take away the thickness of that highlight, if you know what I mean. But just dust it. Don't do a straight line because it will look odd. So just dust it back over to this just to take that flare away a bit. Another thing you can do just to make it look a bit more like rounded and 3D 
is just grab your lighter colour for the highlight or white or transparent white and just literally just do some quick highlights like this like you can you can hardly see it I don't even know if you can see it on the camera but when you stand back it just gives it that extra rounded look kind of looks like a balloon The alternative way to do it if you've only got black, white and one colour would look like this and now you know why I said that you should use a transparent black because it goes on way too thick but to get over that problem again you can just dust back into it with your mid colour And you can even outline it as well. And that is how you paint perfect bubble letters. So I hope this is what the guy meant when he asked me and requested this video. But he asked how to paint bubble letters with a shadow and a highlight on so this is how i would do it anyway there is a couple of different ways you could do it but this i think is the best way and just in case you were wondering that's how it looks with an outline and a second outline so it does look better than i thought to be honest i thought if you put an outline on it it would make it look pretty flat but there you go i'm still learning as well so let us know in the comments what you think looks better and um, let us know if there's anything you'd like to learn let us know what you think of the video if you like the video then click like and make sure you hit subscribe. See you in the next video.